Hello everybody, my name is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and co-host for Resurrect the Republic Dirty Uncle Sam on RBN. I wanted to get to you some breaking news and I want to thank Melanie O'Brien, one of my followers, for sending me this information. This is great news. The people of Massachusetts are standing up and we need to help get this information out to the people. Thank you once again, Melanie. For sending me this information. Goal is the official blog of Gun Owners Action League. That This is their official blog. Every one of the articles I will be putting in the description box below. Goal's response to Attorney General Healy's actions. Massachusetts Attorney General unilaterally changes gun laws. Without any prior notice or public hearings, and while the legislature is on break for national conventions, the Massachusetts Attorney General, Maura Haley, has issued an enforcement notice to firearm retailers throughout the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, changing the long-standing definition of so-called assault weapons. For nearly 18 years since the passage of 1998 Gun Control Act, firearm retailers, gun owners, and state agencies have been operating under the same interpretation. Now suddenly, without warning or any due process, a single person with a clear political agenda decides to change the rules. All Massachusetts residents should be alarmed. Yes, you should. Everyone across this union should be alarmed. Goal is currently trying to decipher the enforcement letter, but with as much information that it contains, it is not very clear what it means. Statements such as the following make it very convoluted. Quote, a weapon is a copy or duplicate, for example, if the operating system and firing mechanism of the weapon are based on or otherwise substantially sim similar to the one of the enumerated weapons." Unquote. Virtually every semi-automatic that utilizes a detachable magazine has the same operating system or firing mechanism. So what does this mean? The short answer is we simply don't know. Our best advice to firearm retailers for now is to err on the side of caution. These new rules may cover a lot more than just what we might think. Goal is working with people and groups around the state and the nation to clarify these new interpretations and decide the best course of action. One thing is certain, that this new interpretation is purely political stunt and has nothing to do with public safety or real law. Jim Wallace, Executive Director. So what you need to know about the rally, the rally is going to be held on July the 23rd. It's going to be held at the Massachusetts State House on the front steps. Saturday, July 23rd, 2016 at 10 a.m. Please, if you have the ability to get there, this is not just a Massachusetts issue. I am going to leave a copy of a link in a video that I did comparing what this Attorney General is doing with the UNODA, UNSATT uh, meeting in which they were holding June the 6th through the 10th uh, as everybody was focused on the Orlando shooting. <clears throat> this is a disarmament plan. The regions and the individuals and the local governments and different things who are doing things like this are working in collaboration in order to disarm you. This is not a scare tactic that I am trying to use with you. This is a known fact. I have an article in which I exposed that as well as the video that I posted yesterday on that. The article that I exposed on that I will put in the description box below for you to be able to read. So if you have the ability, please, this Saturday, July 23rd, get to the Massachusetts Legislature. It will be in rare weekend special session to handle other matters. Plan to be at the State House at 10 a.m. Make your voice heard. Meet with your legislators. Protest the anti-freedom actions of Attorney General Healy. And also please note, call your legislator today and urge them to join us against the rogue actions of the Attorney General Healy. Also, I would suggest if you plan on being there, pull up a copy of the Massachusetts Constitution, the Massachusetts Constitution, Article 17, it is the right of the people to keep and bear arms. It says nothing about militia, so they can't even twist it in that manner. I cover that in the video that I spoke on yesterday. I hope you will help me 
get this message out to as many people as we possibly can and I hope they have so many people there that they have no other alternative but to actually follow Massachusetts law not that code and certainly not a uh, executive statement I think this lady has hung around President Obama entirely too long and she thinks that her little letters are law and they are not law this violates every one of your Massachusetts constitutional rights hold them into account use 18 US 241 if you do not know what that is I will leave a link in the description box below if you have a printer print it out bring it with you to the rally that is a phenomenal US code is 18 US code 241 you may not memorize it but it's good to have several copies on hand if if nothing else take 10 copies hand them out to to individuals whether they be in the legislature or the state house because this shows them that they are to be held accountable not only to the Second Amendment but to the people and any constitutional rights or civil violations under any color of law is it, where there's two or more that is doing it is a conspiracy against rights so I will also leave a link in that description box below for that thank you God bless you help me get this information out to everywhere and uh, I hope they have a phenomenal showing at the Massachusetts State House to, on Saturday please be there if you have the ability to be there I am not going to be able to be there unfortunately I wish I could be because if I could be I would be if you are there and you take pictures please send them to me you can send them to me via email at Lori L O R R I period freedom period outpost at TWC dot com and I will post you your pictures that you send and an article thank you very much God bless you Semper Fidelis and stand strong stand united say no we the people are the government not the corrupt politicians legislators and the individuals who think they are above us good night